Nine at five new pictures released in a police canine attack here in Jacksonville. We told you earlier this month about the attack on the south side that left several people and the dog hurt. Now attorneys want to know why the dog was able to escape from its home. Tristan Hardy spoke with the lawyer representing the victims in this case. And Tristan, uh, what is that lawyer telling you? Well, Anthony, today I looked through 200 photos that JSO released. Many of them are graphic and we're choosing not to show those, but we do want to show you how it appears the dog got out and we will show you the area the attack happened and we're also going to show you the knife that was used to stab the dog. But again, due to the graphic nature of the photos, we won't be showing the injuries. Oh God, sir, are they going to be here? Is it an emergency? This is just one of three 911 calls that went out the day a JSO K9 attacked three people. The dog, who lived nearby with the handler, managed to escape the backyard. When the people tried to secure the dog, the dog attacked. I need the police here quick. My wife is bleeding to death. I sat down with Lawrence Najem, who was representing the three people attacked. He says they are all traumatized. Well, we are investigating uh, the nature of this attack and why a canine dog was uh, in, in a position that he could get out. On March 4th, JSO believes the canine dug a hole under the fence and escaped from its owner's backyard. Najem says his clients were looking for its owner when something triggered the animal. They were not doing anything to provoke the dog. In order to stop the attack, someone stabbed the dog. This was the knife. JSO says the dog has since had surgery. It's expected to recover. As for whether the canine is back working, JSO said they cannot speak on pending litigation. As for one of Najem's clients, who JFRD said chunks of meat were missing near her ankles, she is still recovering. Uh, I've never seen a, uh, a, uh, a rogue canine uh, unit uh, do what this dog did. So at this time, Najem says his clients have not filed a civil lawsuit. The attack remains under investigation. Najem says he is working to recover the medical costs associated with the attack for his clients. In the studio, I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News on your side.